Hello folks, Gareth here from Mobile Tech Addicts and Tristia, matt.co.uk and for unboxings. And I'm today I'm having a look at uh, the Arcos Gamepad 2. This is a, well, an Android tablet from that cunning little French company, Arcos. It's got eight gigabytes inside it, quad core CPU, seven inch IPS display, game mapping tool, which I'm particularly interested in, and Wi-Fi display. The display is your Wi-Fi, which is novel, I suppose. It says here Android 4.2 Jelly Bean, but I'm hoping that it's a slightly better version than that by now. It's been out a little while, so I don't see why it wouldn't be. Also included are Modern Combat 4, Asphalt 8 Airborne. I'm looking around the device, which has already been tampered with. Someone's had this before me. And you can see here the specifications show on the side that it's Android 4.2, 7 inch multi touch display, a quad core ARM Cortex A9 1.6 GHz processor with a 400 MP4 GPU by Mali. 2 GB of RAM, that's more than I expected. And Wi Fi, Wi Fi display again, uh, Bluetooth 4.0 micro USB audio jack blah 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 dual analog thumbsticks front facing camera built-in speakers G sensor and compass all right so uh, asphalt modern combat 4 world of goo which they gave away with a couple of their other tablets uh, Google mobile services YouTube blah 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 our cost media center okay on the back here and it brags about some of the specifications here and shows us some classic graphics from some game loft classics over here we've got thousands of games to download does everything a tablet does internet and multimedia stuff and the arcos mapping tool which allows you to take the touch screen buttons and marry them up with the hardware buttons in an app that drops down from the top hopefully we can get that working there are pre-configured uh, ones and if there aren't any then you can do it yourself which is very nice coming on there guff all right so inside the device inside the box we have a plastic thing over the top here <clears throat> looks a bit like an android there with eyes and uh, uh, yep okay so it's like unboxing a cake here and we're gonna find uh, some vanilla cream puff stuff and there we have it. That is the Arcos Gamepad 2. And this is dust. Lots of dust. <clears throat> okay, it's, uh, it's a lot thicker than I actually imagined. It's not terribly thick, mind you, but it's, it's a lot thicker. Yeah, we'll come back to the device in a minute. We'll have a look and see what else is in the box. Plastic thing. A charger for charging. It's a bit like the Nexus chargers, I suppose, with... Uh, interchangeable pieces to it a USB a micro USB cable <clears throat> Gumpf using the Arcos mapping tool how to do it how to play and that sort of thing warnings Acton precaution uh, warranty quick start guide in many many languages okay so, this is it. Um, I wonder if I've got anything over here to compare it to. <coughs> so as it's a gaming device, I thought I'd set that. That's the PSP Slim. 2000 ah yeah well it's a PSP Slim it's not the fat one and then obviously that is that it's a little bit bigger than a PSP which is nice because it's got a good generous screen here what else could it be the same size as it's about the same size as an Atari Lynx 2 it's a little thinner it's not quite as fat as an Atari Lynx 2 they, they do compare like that yes and then Secondly, there is the Sega Game Gear, which it's a lot bigger than, but again, a lot thinner. That's kind of nice. So yeah, it does seem to be a little bit more impressive than those two classic consoles. 
Uh, there's a Game Boy over there. I'm, sh I'm pretty sure it's bigger than a Game Boy. Very reflectant screen. There's me. And you can see the light and the other light. Yeah. All right. So uh, while we're on the device, we have rather nice uh, D-pads. That, that's a nice, spongy, responsive D-pad. Let's uh, take it in comparison to this here, which is a, a true and highly tested D-pad. I know which one I'd rather have. Put this in here. Yep, yep, yep. Uh, this is a fantastic D-pad by comparison. Okay, and we have a thumbstick here, which again, we can compare with a thumbstick here. Mm, okay, I think Sony has the edge there, this does, doesn't seem to return too easily. It feels like it might get clogged with dust or something. And there's a select button just down there, forward facing speaker. Or oh, it's a gamepad too, spelled correctly. Forward facing speaker, the start button, another, oh that, uh, you can, I don't know if you can hear that. It sounds like there's a lot of dust under there, there's a bit of grinding going on. And then some rather nice attractive buttons that are much like this, I suppose, but by buttons wise they're, you can't really go wrong, too wrong with buttons. They're a lot smaller, well not a lot smaller, but they're, they're smaller. And then you have trigger buttons, which are, these ones are quite difficult to push, but those ones are well positioned. Maybe not whenever you're using the analog thumbsticks, and I have big hands because I'm a big man. Okay, on the side here, there is very little. Obviously, we'll have a look at those buttons again. Nice plasticky. Uh, power, we'll power that on so we can boot up whilst. Uh... Ah, yep, there is battery life on it. Uh, volume rocker on the top there. That appears to be maybe a microphone. An HDMI out, 3.5 millimeter headphone jack, uh, a micro USB. You can see that actually the light's not terribly good. And then of course the top buttons. Around this side, again, nothing. Along the bottom, nothing. On the back, well, I suppose this qualifies as on the back and on the bottom. It's a micro SD card slot there. It's a textured plastic to the back says HDMI on there and then there's slight hand grips there they're not very large no they're not terribly large at all but I guess that keeps for a, a lower profile did that turn off again no okay uh, forward-facing camera not sure what the spec is on that okay right so we've got it unlocked I'll move this crap out of the way We'll see what we can do. Let's uh, let's go straight for Asphalt 8. So hopefully it's pre-configured. You can see that okay. Yes, there we go. And we'll whack up the volume. Obviously I'm most interested in this because it can play all kinds of emulators as well. And then we press that there. And it brings us up the uh, button management. Press that again. it goes away. So we'll play with the button management for the review. Um. Right, so we'll go for a quick solo race. Bear in mind I have no idea what the controls are here. But the, the screen is quite nice. It's uh, it is quite reflectant quite glossy but it's bright bright and colorful I'm interested to see what the battery life would be on this obviously you wouldn't want to be watching full screen movies on this uh, all day long but well no it works okay Barcelona. see the Android controls stay in frame Nice 
nice tutorial there. You can use either buttons. That's the volume up full, and the speakers are okay, I suppose. It is just a lot of noise at the moment. Perhaps it's uh, the actual music itself isn't is a bit too boombastic for the speakers maybe and it ends up just being slightly distracting as opposed to uh, a proper soundtrack to life. Okay. Yeah, you could you know, yeah, get used to those controls in-game. It's kind of nice to have a to play Android games with a without a touch screen because you get to see the whole picture. Your thumbs aren't blocking parts of the picture or the screen to uh, to enable you to control it. Okay, well, you get the idea with that. Let's have a look at modern combat. Oh, start button takes you back to. The... Oh, yeah. And then it resumes from where you were. That's kind of nice. So these are all. Oh, well, there's an update coming. Meltdown update. These are all pre-installed so you don't have to download all the other gunk that comes with it. For an easy game just because it's purely demonstration purposes. Excellent, there's an overlay there to help you find out exactly what you're using the controls for. Much like at the start of an Xbox or PlayStation game. The load times do seem to be quite long on this. Um, well, no, I suppose they're not really. I suppose it's the first run, isn't it? See if we can skip this and get into the actual gameplay to see how this rocks. supposed to follow the person behind me. Well, those thumbsticks certainly help the action. Um, obviously, I'm playing it at a bit of an angle at the moment, which doesn't make things very easy to do. Uh, let's have a look and see what else is installed on the device. Obviously we get our course video player on YouTube, Google services. We'll have a quick check and see. Oh, there's wireless display. Oh, I wonder how that works. Right, okay, so we can set up 
I remember this being in an older version of Android, but I never actually used it. wonder if we could Chromecast with this. That might be quite a, kind of nice. Uh, we'll fire down and see about the tablet. It says uh, version 4.2.2. Yeah, we'll have to set this up and see if there's any updates. We'll do that for the review, but that is the Arcos Gamepad 2 in a nutshell. I'm quite impressed with it, to be honest. I expected it to... It, it's not a... It's not an expensive device, but I expected it to be of lower quality than it actually is. I'm, especially when you compare it to the PSP. You know, that there's, there's an awful lot of similarities between the two, and seeing them both side by side, this does seem to be of a high quality that the PSP also was, but then this was sold at a price that was greatly, uh, well, it was a lot higher than this. Yeah, I, I think I'll, get, I'll make a, a good go of this. I'll start using it as my daily device, my tablet, and a bit of gaming, maybe on the commute into work and things like that, and see if it turns any heads. Get the old NES emulators and things on here and play Mario, that kind of thing. Sorry. All right, well, that's the Arcos Gamepad 2. Uh, check back at the site uh, for a full review in a couple of weeks, and uh, we'll, we'll see what we make of it. And uh, remember to check back for more unboxings at uh, tracyamat.co.uk and unboxings.com, and watch the podcast and the Mobile Tech Addict Show. Take care now.